Hello. So this is a stop switch removed from an Evernote outboard. Actually, it was a Johnson outboard. I believe it was a 25 horse. So I live in a hot desert climate, Arizona, California. Both, actually. Um, these are notorious for not working. Pretty much everyone you come across ain't going to work. It's pretty common. Where I live, being so hot, it's known that plastic, rubber, anything kind of deteriorates and falls apart. Now this came off an engine I got out of Phoenix. Now what's odd about Phoenix and getting outboards, you would think being in Phoenix, nowhere near salt water, most of the engines you'd find out there would be you know, fresh water use and free of corrosion. No, they're usually worse than the engines you find out of uh, Long Beach. So that's always kind of surprised me. Now what's interesting too is it's pretty hot in Phoenix. This should have fallen apart a long, long time ago. It's, it's still pliable, it's, it's weird. But anywho, naturally it doesn't work, so we're gonna fix it. Now there are other videos on YouTube about other people doing this. I don't usually like making videos where there's already something similar to it out there. But, you know, might as well show you my, uh, my take on the whole thing. Now, if you're on the East Coast where it's, you know, a little milder, a little more uh, moist, if you will, or even in the Pacific Northwest, you may not have the problem of the rubber deteriorating. If so, yours is probably flexible too. So, I already pried this one apart, but all you would do to get the rubber boot off the plastic body here is just kind of pry and work your way around the back. Then you can take it apart, and you can see it's just two button contacts and a little piece of copper on the inside. Now, the only reason it's not working is because the contacts are dirty. Clean the contacts, put it back together, it's going to work fine. For that, simple piece of steel wool. After you're done, you want to make sure no little pieces of steel wool are left inside of there because it's uh, conductive and it'll jump little contacts there and the engine won't run. So you want to make sure you get it all out of there. That's the only real thing. Also, you probably use sandpaper or something here too. Looks like sandpaper actually is working a little better. And while you're at it, cleaning the ring terminal and the little, uh, what, pin terminal. It's not necessarily a bad idea either. All right, now we just got to put it back together and hope it works. That actually might be the hard part. Because the way that rubber gets formed over. This thing's pretty clean. I don't know why I'm wearing gloves anyway. Perfect. So my goodish multimeter, I uh, took the probes out for some reason and I have no idea where I put them. So for uh, too long, I've been using the free Harbor Freight one. And it's free with coupon. But you know, they hand out like candy, so pretty easy to get. So let's give it a little test, see if our meter changes. But so you can see it. Hey! Now we have a functioning stop switch. Oh, that's the end. Um, recently I signed up for Patreon. Well, that was, you know, two and a half years ago. But recently I actually set it up so it would actually do something. So if you want to help fund videos instead of me making videos like this piece of junk, please follow the link below and uh, give it a consideration. All right, everybody. See you next time. For just $1 a month. You can help fund videos that aren't junk.